It's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Recently, I presented a session at the Excel Virtually Global Conference on my five favorite Excel chart hacks. In this video, I want to share hack number one, how to force an Excel chart to start at zero. I'll link to the playlist with all five hacks in the top right corner. I want to start by sharing with you the hack as I presented it during the conference session. Then I'll come back and share some additional tips, ideas, or resources to help you apply this idea to your Excel charts. Let's start with the video from the conference session. That first hack is being able to force a chart to start at zero. Now, why is this an issue? Don't charts always start at zero? Well, actually, column, bar, and line charts won't, depending on the data. It's best illustrated with this tweet that was sent out a few years ago. And what it shows is that if the data is close to each other, and here they have figured out it's 83.33%, so if the minimum is 83.33% of the maximum, then the chart will not start at zero. Why is this a problem? It's a problem because this distorts people's interpretation of the chart. They can easily misinterpret it. The column heights are supposed to represent the values. But as you can see on the right example here, they don't represent those values accurately. The first column looks like it's oh, one third of the height of the third column, but that's not actually true for the values. So how do we fix this? Well, we're gonna fix it by adding a series that is gonna be set to zero so it forces the chart. Now, won't we see that series, Dave? No, we're going to make that series invisible. We're gonna hide it. Let's go over to Excel and I'll show you how this is done. So here we are in Excel. Data is quite simple. We have our different areas here and their uptime percentage. You'll notice given the values here, if I create a column chart, for example, with just these values, so if I say insert a regular column chart, you'll notice it, the vertical axis does not start at zero. It starts at 75, and that's what Excel does. And this is why this is a problem. So let's delete that. And let's go and say, how do we create this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create an extra data series. I've called it zero here, and it just has one value, and it's zero. Now, when we create a column chart that has both of these data series, Excel has to look at it and say, well, what are all the values? Oh, there's a zero. That's not within the 83.3%. So I have to start the axis at zero. And that's how we force it to start at zero. But again, the concern might be is how do we make it disappear? Well, part of the value is setting it to zero because that's not going to show up on a column chart. And we can make it disappear by layering. So let me go ahead and select both of our data series here. And I'm going to say insert a chart, and I'm going to select my simple regular column chart. And you notice here now it started at zero, but it's showing us our two data series, uptime percentage and zero. So how do we how do we make this change? I'm going to move this up here so we can see it. What we're going to do is we're going to set the overlap of these two data series to 100 percent which means we put them on top of each other. Now, because that column is zero, there's really no column there, so there's nothing covering up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select any of the data series. I'm going to press Control-1 on my keyboard. This brings up the formatting task pane. And you'll notice here, let me zoom in so you can see this. So you'll notice here that there's the series overlap. And by default, it is minus 27%, which means the columns are beside each other with a little gap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set that series overlap to 100%. And now what happens is it lays them on top of each other. Well, we're not covering anything up because there's only one column and it's zero anyways, which is down at the bottom. Now I can set the gap width. I find this to be uh, too large. It makes the columns too skinny. I'm gonna set that to 50%. And now we can see that our chart starts at zero the way we want it to and it does not have that overlap. Now, if you're concerned, you can uh, certainly get rid of the fill and the line color for that particular data series, the zero data series, 
You can do that by going to the chart format ribbon. And on the left hand side here, in this drop down list, you can select the data series called zero. And then once you select that data series, you can then go and set the fill color to be no fill and the outline to be no outline. Now, it doesn't really matter that much because it's not really seen anyways. So now we can just go ahead and remove the legend because we don't need that. We don't need people to know there's another data series there. So what we've done now is we have forced this Excel chart to start at zero. And this works for column charts, bar charts, and line charts. Now, during the conference session, there was chat going on, and John Peltier, who is acknowledged to be the world's uh, Excel chart guru, uh, commented that uh, the, the technique that I showed you in the video works, except when you have more than one column visible, more than one data series that you want visible. So here's an example here where we have, in addition to uptime percentage, we have now productivity percentage, and we want both of them to be plotted as columns, but again, we need to change the Excel default behavior to force it to start at zero. Now, what I'm gonna do is select all three of the columns. Again, I'm selecting my zero column like I showed you in the video from the conference, and when I go to insert my column chart, my regular column chart, you'll notice I have my blue column, my orange column, and then my empty column. Now, what I showed you in the Excel chart hack is when I changed the, um, when I select one of the columns and I change the series overlap to 100%, what happens? Well, the columns that I want visible are now layered on top of each other, which is not what we want. So let's undo that. And instead, what we want to do is we want to change the series chart type for the zero data series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on uh, any of the columns and select this item here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it, where it says change series chart type. What this does is it opens up the custom combination dialog box. And down on the bottom, we can set the, the chart type for any of our data series. So I'm gonna set the chart type for the zero data series. I'm gonna change it from clustered column to just a regular line. And you'll notice how the preview automatically adjusts. And when I click OK, I can see my two columns as I'm supposed to, and I know that it starts at zero, the chart starts at zero. So I forced it to start at zero, and I haven't run into the problem of those overlapping columns. So if you have more than one data series that you want shown, so multiple columns, then use John's idea to change that zero data series to a line chart. It still won't show up, and it allows your audience to view the both sets of columns that you want them to be able to see. John also suggested that if you want to apply this and extend it, so let's say you want two or three or four charts to have the same scale, the same minimum, the same maximum, then what you can do is in the zero data series, you can add a second point. Don't put it right beside the first point, put it a few rows down because otherwise it'll actually draw a line. So put it maybe on the last one and set that to be the maximum value of any of the data series. That way, all charts will have the same minimum and maximum because this zero series takes on that forcing Excel to have the minimum and maximum the same for multiple charts. That's one of the hacks that I shared during my Excel Virtually Global conference session. To see all the hacks that I shared and all the additional information, use the link beside me to open the playlist that has the videos for all five hacks. Thanks for watching.